Mal and I have not been sleeping in the same bed. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm having a good hair day. Curls are coming back. You guys know I'm on a journey to wear my hair natural. More often, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be one of those people that always wears my hair natural because you guys know I love to switch it up. I love to get my hair done and play around with it, but my curls are looking a lot better. Look at that. So if you guys watched our last video on here, you guys would know that I had COVID. I'm just slowly, slowly getting back into the swing of things. It's honestly been really difficult. And I think Mercury is in retrograde or something like that because honestly, guys, I've been extremely low energy. I've been just not in a good mood. I look at my old videos and I'm like, how did I used to do so much in a day? I used to clean, work out, cook, work, like, all in one day i'm like how did i used to do that yesterday was the first day i took like a full real shower in the first time like since i've gotten sick and it just felt so good guys my legs are shaved again that's why my curls look good i did like a hair mask finally shaved my face i don't know why my face looks kind of red on camera i don't know why i look so red but i don't really look that red in person but the camera's making me look really red but i um you know, did a whole, like I shaved my face, did a little face mask. That's honestly probably why my face is red because I shaved it and then I did like a face mask and stuff. But I just feel so much better. I'm about to put on my spray tan. As you guys can see, our bed is pretty bare because I am washing our bed sheets. Um, again, if you guys watched our last video, I mentioned that Mel and I have not been sleeping in the same bed. But yeah, guys, I have not slept next to my husband in almost a month, which is crazy. So obviously I was in Miami for a week. I was away from him for like 10 days. Um, I get back to LA and I have COVID so obviously he couldn't sleep next to me We didn't want to risk him getting sick So yeah guys i'm about to throw our sheets in the wash and wash them with like really hot water just to kill any You know germs or bacteria that's on the bed. But yeah guys Mal and I have not slept next to each other in Three weeks. We just still have just been super super cautious, but I miss my husband you guys like especially as a married couple Like that's where we go at the end of the night to you know, just like talk and cuddle and you know, just stuff like that. And it's, I feel really disconnected from Mel. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like just going through COVID and then being away from him, being in Miami without him for so long. Like, I, I do feel disconnected from Mel, I really do. And I really wish we could like, you know, go on a date night or something like that. But obviously like, where are we gonna put Vaughn? It's just been a really difficult past few weeks for us in this household. Um, Again, it's not a thing like between Mel and I's like relationship. Like I don't want to say anything like that, but it's just like from being sick and being away, like it's just hard to get back into the swing of things. It's hard to get back into routine. Yeah, guys, I just hope I don't come off super like low energy or in a bad mood in this video. I just feel very different. Like I just I just been through a lot, okay? I'm just ready to, you know, just slowly slowly get back to the way I was. Again, just thinking about how much I used to do in a day boggles my mind. I don't understand how I used to have that energy. I really don't understand. I'm just being real with y'all because that's what we do on this channel. We keep you guys updated on our life. I'm just not in a good place right now. I am just, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I need. Um, it's just so hard. And then balancing being a mom on top of everything. Moms don't get enough credit, you guys. It's like, think about, if you don't have any kids, think about you going through anything you're going through. But then imagine you're like responsible for a whole nother human being on top of that making sure that they're getting three meals a day making sure they're getting attention making sure they're getting love at the end of the day i'm just being honest with you guys like again i know i have a lot to be thankful for i have a lot to be grateful for this is like the worst part of wanting to share your feelings on the internet because people just come bombard you with like shut up like you have so much to be thankful for obviously i know that i know i'm super blessed and i'm super lucky but i'm also human too i'm not a robot I have emotions, I have feelings. Actually, before I eat, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my tan just so I can have some time to develop before tonight. And you guys know, a good spray tan is what makes me happy in this life. <laughs> like, I always feel so much better about myself when I have a good tan. Just threw the sheets in the washer. And I wanna quickly show you guys this detergent because Yasmin actually got this PR package sent to our house the other day. Um, obviously, like, cause she was living with us for like three months, she gave, you know, companies her address. So obviously I decided to keep it cause I'm not about to like mail this to Miami for her, but they sent us a bunch of these cleaning products and they smell so good. The brand is called Safely and they sent us like their detergent their spray sorry guys the dryer is going but i just want to show oh i just dropped it i just wanted to show you guys this detergent because literally their products smell oh my god but i just quickly wanted to show you guys this detergent because their products smell so bomb i'll show you guys the sprays downstairs
obviously because there's some like COVID infested sheets, we're gonna bump up the temperature. There's a sanitized setting. Let's just do sanitized to be honest, to be safe. My husband? That doesn't even feel like my husband? Mm-hmm, we're roommates. I know, we, we keep on joking that we're just roommates. I am hungry. Yeah, I'm about to make us some HelloFresh. I think this is the probably like the third kiss we've had in the past three weeks. Uh, yeah, I was telling them how we haven't been sleeping next to each other. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd be sharing your marriage problems on YouTube? Just kidding. It's not that it's a marriage problem. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're not sleeping next to each other from like, you know, fighting. It's like health reasons. Yeah. But tell them about how good these strawberries are. These are fire strawberries. And do you want to tell them how annoyed you were acting when I asked you to take me to the fruit man down the street? I don't understand how a good turnout would change the fact that it was an inconvenient ask. How was it inconvenient? Hmm? Explain to them. Explain. Because she drove past it. And I didn't have cash for the fruit man. And then she came home and sat in the house for like three hours. Pause. Okay, okay, pause. And then I don't like how you're saying I don't like how you're telling the story. By the way, guys, before you come at me for wearing my SCAD t shirt literally 24 7, first of all, y'all ain't doing my laundry, so leave me alone. And second of all, when I have my tan developing, I like to wear like an old t shirt like this. And my camera is crooked. And I need to wash this air fryer. So, pretty much what had happened was. I was driving home the other day and I passed by this fruit stand. Like this man is selling all this fruit like on the side of the street. So I text Mel and I'm like, babe, don't let me forget. Like we need to grab some cash and come buy some fruit. Cause his strawberries, like when I was driving by, they just looked so good. Like I could literally see them from the car. Like these strawberries were fire. I get home and then I'm like, babe, can you take me to the fruit man downstairs? I mean, down the street. No, she didn't and get home. She got home. We sat for like two hours. I took a whole nap. Kayvon finished his nap. He ate. Like, it was like three hours past, and then she came down like, so can we go to the fruit man before he closes? I'm like, what? He was really packing And then up. I'm looking at the clock, and it's like 5.50, so it's like 6 p.m. I'm like, how do we even know if this guy is still even here? I'm like, of course he's going to be closing now. Like, so He was closing up, actually. It was not how she told us. She came home, we got cash, and left. No, we sat around for like three, four hours, and then she finally was like, Let's go before he leaves. I'm like, and aren't you glad we and went? And then we only had one twenty dollar bill because that's all the cash I had on me. So all we could get was strawberries. Like he had other stuff. I all we could get was strawberries. And then she gave him the whole rest of the twenty because we didn't have enough like change left to like buy anything else. So she just gave him the rest of the tip. So I'm like, we literally just drove, rushed out here just for strawberries. And but luckily, no, no, luckily sorry. it was only down the street. Kayvon has no, been putting. She's, she's lucky that Kayvon likes him. Because there's so many times we bought strawberries, good or bad. Not good. No, 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 no. He's lying, okay? No, we've had when the some strawberries, good strawberries are good, before. we eat them. But strawberries are very hard. No, we've had some good strawberries before and they've sat here. Guys, honestly, like. The Kayvon is killing them. Aside from the fact this video is being sponsored by HelloFresh, this is why we like HelloFresh. We buy food and it goes to waste. There's been so many times we'll go grocery shopping and we'll end up just like eating out all week. Like we're not gonna like sit here in front. Like we eat out a lot. You guys see it in the vlogs. We enjoy eating out, we do. And a lot of times it comes out of convenience. We don't wanna clean up. And the biggest thing is like, again, we just hate wasting food and we do it so often. Yeah. And we'll go buy red raspberries from the store because we're craving raspberries that day and then we won't want them the rest of the week. Or Nas will be like, okay, this is what we're making for dinner this week. We'll buy all the ingredients and then we'll wake up like, mm, I'm, craving, really I'm craving ramen. So then we'll go get ramen and then not cook what we want. So I think we we'll also help with the strawberries that I pre washed them and I have them just sitting in a bowl in the fridge. So you just go in there and grab them. If you have to wash it every single time, we probably haven't want to have eaten them as often. So that's honestly like why we love HelloFresh is that everything comes to us pre portioned out, pre packaged. We have exactly what we need for that specific recipe. So we're not buying a big batch of something just to use it once and then letting it go bad in our fridge. So we're just wasting food wasting money which is something we're really trying to work on honestly it helps us save money even more because me and Nas are like chronic grocery shoppers to where we'll go to the grocery store and be like "Ooh, this looks cool never had this before put it in the cart "Ooh, this looks cool never had this before boom oh we haven't had this in a while even though we had didn't eat it last time we bought it boom let's get it so then like we just end up grocery shopping is just so much stuff that we don't need like the fact that we spend like three hundred dollars at the grocery store for three people and one is a baby does yeah. not make any sense but like we just we but have to work we do on do it like all organic all name brands for the I most know, part so all i'm saying is that mel and i need to work on making like a meal plan like the thing is sometimes we'll just like 
be in the grocery store, like, what should we eat this week? And we're, like, in the grocery store. Like, we need to sit down. The meal plans are so whack. Bro. Which is like, why you just got to get HelloFresh, bro. Yeah. They're all delicious. That's the thing about HelloFresh. You know everything you're going to get is going to be fire. Mm -hmm. So it literally tastes like you're eating, like, a restaurant meal, and you cooked it at home. And so. they make you feel like a chef. Like, you've been in there yeah. chopping up, like... Like you do, like most of the times when you're cooking HelloFresh, you're doing steps that you wouldn't do when you're like making a typical meal unless you are somebody right. like Nas who like Not even. I don't cooks even those cook type like of meals. A... I was like pickling onions like the other day when I cooked HelloFresh. Like yeah. I wouldn't pickle onions just mm -hmm. on my own. You know what I mean? This that wet, this that drip, this that super soca. What? This that drip, this that super soca. Guys, I'm making, the meal that I'm making is yogurt marinated chicken with garlic sauce. And unfortunately, I don't have the meal card to show you. You guys know with HelloFresh, they send you guys meal cards. And I think I accidentally threw them away. But if that happens to you guys, don't you fear because they have all the recipes on their website. So I'm just about to look this up on HelloFresh's website and just follow along on my phone. So I just went ahead and looked it up on HelloFresh and I found the whole recipe with the step-by-step -step instructions with the pictures. So I'm just gonna follow along on my phone. But like I mentioned, you guys have seen in all of our videos in the past because we've been using HelloFresh for literally like, what, two years now? We get these amazing meal cards. I'll actually show you guys what the meal cards look like. Yeah, so here's one of the meal cards that I picked from our past packages. So usually you would get your meal card like this and it will have all the ingredients listed out with easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions. I don't care if y'all don't even know how to boil water, literally anybody can follow along with this and create a delicious restaurant-worthy meal. So let's get started and see what we got in here. Look at these carrots. You guys know how much we love HelloFresh. We've been using it for such a long time now. And actually a lot of you guys DM me and comment saying that you guys started using HelloFresh because of us and that you guys love it too, which makes me so, so happy. I love when you guys love our recommendations. So here I'm just marinating the chicken. So it came with the seasoning and lemon juice and garlic. So all I had to add of my own was just salt, pepper, and some olive oil. But this chicken was so, so seasoned and so good. And this um, meal was very Middle Eastern inspired. So we always marinate our chicken chicken with yogurt so I love the fact that they incorporated that into this dish The best part about HelloFresh, in my opinion, is that it takes out all of the stress that comes with meal planning and grocery shopping. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I've definitely been in a rut and I just haven't been wanting to do anything. So we definitely put going to the grocery store on the back burner. So I love the fact that everything just got delivered right to our door. So instead of getting, you know, takeout or fast food, we had a delicious, healthy meal to make at our house instead. Another thing I love is that they have so many different meal plan options. So whether you're vegetarian, pescatarian, eating low calorie or low carb, they have so many different options on their website to fit your dietary needs. So we're just doing the classic plan because we do eat meat, but I love that we can also do vegetarian here and there when Melanie are in the mood for it. Guys, look at how beautiful this marinade is. It was so, so good. I wish I could have marinated the chicken longer, but we were so hungry we couldn't wait. But this marinade is so fire. I'm for sure going to make it again. So another great thing about HelloFresh is that they're super flexible. You can easily change your delivery dates or your food preferences or even skip a week whenever you need. Let's say you're going out of town. You can easily just adjust it for your schedule. And just something I admire about HelloFresh as a company is that they're dedicated to giving back. Just in 2020 alone, they donated over 4 million meals. So I love supporting companies that really do make it a priority to give back to their community. So here I'm just tossing the carrots with a little bit of oil, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of red chili flakes. So I'm just tossing that together and then I'm popping that in the oven for about 25 minutes. While I let the chicken cook, I just whipped up this garlic sauce. So it's literally just sour cream and some crushed garlic. And it was so good on top of the chicken and with the couscous. So speaking of the couscous, here's how I made it. So I just melted some butter. So pretty much with HelloFresh, they send you everything except for like your oil and your butter and your salt and pepper. So I'm just melting some of the butter up in the pan. And then I'm going to throw in the couscous and toast that up a little bit with some salt. Thank you. 
and then I'm pouring in some water and some of that chicken stock concentrate and I'm just bringing that up to a boil after I stir it so then once that comes to a boil I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on simmer and also cover it and this took only about like six minutes to cook it cooked really really fast so it's a lot quicker than rice and I love the texture I swear I never make couscous unless I'm making HelloFresh and I love it every single time I don't know why I don't make it more often and then I'm tossing the couscous with some of that lemon zest I made earlier and some cilantro. And I swear I didn't even ever use lemon zest until I started using HelloFresh. So they really do teach you so much in the kitchen and really do get you like experimenting with different ingredients. And here is the finished meal with everything all together. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Kavari12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. I'll have the link for you guys down below, but we killed our plates. This meal was so good, so make sure you guys check out HelloFresh. Hey guys, it's been a little bit, so we just ate our food. It was so good. Again, don't forget to use my code for HelloFresh linked down below. But I'm just finishing up my makeup so I can head over to Sylvia's dinner. It's in about an hour, so I'm really just trying to finish up so I can get there like without rushing. Um, so I just have pretty much all I have left to do is just put on my lashes and my lips and then like cheeks Like I need to do like bronzer blush highlight and lips So I'm actually going to be using magnetic lashes from Lily lashes You guys know I love Lily lashes and they just came out with faux magnetic um, Lashes as well. So these right here are in the style irreplaceable. So yeah, these are Lily lashes first ever magnetic lashes So again, I just put on the magnetic liner. We're gonna try out this style I do like how they didn't make the strip crazy like long So I feel like I don't even have to trim them and I have to trim all my lashes. So I'm gonna try these on See how they look Honestly, these aren't dramatic enough for me. Maybe if I try curling them honestly guys, I prefer my classic Miami flair. So, ooh, oh, I didn't even know I had my camera on them. But you guys know my holy grail lashes, Miami flair lashes. Just gonna put those on. I'm using House Labs heat spell bronzer. You're gonna fall in love over and over again. That is your journey. Hey, how are you Time just be creeping up on you. I have to like be, I should be done with my makeup right now. <laughs> Thank God I have this little mini Charlotte Tilbury powder because I don't know where my Dermaplan powder went. And you guys know that's like my ride or die holy grail powder and I can't find it. Okay, for my lips, I am doing Carly Bible's new Il Maquillage collab. Um, AI, where's the other lipstick? I am doing, oh, I almost dropped this. I'm doing her AI lip liner and then her Taurus lipstick. I love this combination. Make sure that you pick the right person. Make sure your picker's working well. I know you'll make the right choices. Love you. Here's the final makeup look. Super simple, pretty pink lip. But guys, I'm running literally so late. I need to leave the house in like three minutes max. I'm gonna get dressed real quick. I'm leaving my hair natural and I will see you guys when I'm at dinner. I just got home. I'm about to wash off my makeup and get ready for bed. But guys, I really just wanted to show you all this. I I don't know about you guys, but when I'm stressed out and I'm getting ready to go somewhere, like, I just, everything irritates me. And I literally got so upset because our bathroom and our closet have been so messy. And, like, as I was getting ready and I was changing, I was, like, I'm so tired of our closet being a mess. Like, it's stressing me out. Like, I'm cleaning it. Like, I'm so tired of, like, living in a mess. And I come home and Mel cleaned our bathroom. And then the closet... 
he cleaned up everything guys when i tell you couldn't even like see the floor like it was literally just clothes on clothes on clothes everywhere floor is vacuumed this is laundry we have to handle tomorrow but guys honestly when i tell you how much that meant to me coming home and like knowing that mel heard me and acknowledged my frustrations and then did something for me knowing that i'd come home and like that would like relax me and make me feel so good honestly i'm so lucky i'm so blessed i love mel so much like mel truly understands like my love language is acts of service like to me i'm acts of service to a t i don't need the gifts I don't like obviously I like quality time, but it's not up there for me. Neither is physical touch. That's like I don't really need physical touch to feel like I'm loved. But for me, acts of service is like here, like literally to the sky and coming home and just seeing a mess that has been stressing me out for days get picked up and put away so I can just come home and relax is everything. Honestly, I'm so lucky. Honestly, you guys, that just means so, so much to me so much to me you don't even understand i honestly my look like my makeup is off because i actually started to tear up when i saw this so i'm gonna go downstairs give my husband a big old kiss because i love him so much and this was just like the sweetest thing he could have done honestly i'm just about to wash off my makeup we're actually we're planning on watching the conjuring tonight so i'm just going to wash off my makeup and head down so we can have a little movie night guys i used the birdie lashes lash glue you guys know that's uh, Beauty Birds lash brand. And usually you guys know I use the liquid eyeliner from Lily Lashes to like put on my lashes, but I actually lost that. I think I left that in Miami too. I swear, everything is just left in Miami. But when I tell you guys, my lashes are stuck on to the gauze. That's such a good lash glue. But usually I just peel off my lashes, but because the lash glue is so strong, I think I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some micellar water and loosen it up because I feel like I'm gonna literally rip out my eyelashes. Y'all already know my favorite stuff. I'm literally so tired. See, this is what I don't miss about wearing makeup all the time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really don't wear makeup as much as I used to. But like, I love wearing minimal makeup and just like sunscreen and mascara because I can truly just like wipe my face down with micellar water, put on my retinol and like go to sleep. Guys, lots of the women out tonight were moms and we were just sitting there like talking about our kids and talking about like freaking bedtime and nannies and breastfeeding and all that stuff. And I'm like, I'm with my people. I'm with my mommy friends. Can't wait till more of my friends become moms so we can like, you know, bond over our kids. I was like, only we would be at like a party and like talking about our kids. <laughs> Guys, Sylvia is literally crazy. She walked me out to my car. I parked right in front of like the venue. And I parallel parked on the street. And when I parked, this car parked right behind me, like in my butt. Like I swear to God, like this was my car. This other car, this is how much distance we had between each other. And I had another car in front of me that was thankfully a little bit more, like they gave me a little bit more space. And Sylvia was like, I'm gonna help you get out of this. And I'm like, Sylvia, it's fine. Like the Tesla has like cameras all around it. Like I can get out of this. She's like, no, I'm gonna help you. And I'm like, Sylvia, I really don't need help, I promise. She literally goes in the middle of the road. And for those of you guys who live in LA, she's on freaking North Highland Avenue, like busy street in Hollywood. She literally gets in the middle of the street, goes like this. She literally just does this and like makes all the cars stop for me to pull out. I'm like, Sylvia, they rolled down my window. I'm like, Sylvia, you're crazy. But that's why I love her because she is crazy. And I was like, talk about not caring. Like she was like, y'all are gonna stop. It is my birthday, y'all gonna stop. I was like, Sylvia, you're about to get like hit by a car. Like go inside. Showed them your surprise you had for me upstairs. Surprise? Mm -hmm. Oh, the room? Yeah, she left very stressed, so I knew the formula was for her to come home to a clean house so that she would not be stressed. I love you. I love you. Yeah, this is why you get a man who's also a Virgo rising. Your man cave is such a vibe. 
the shoes and the oh, lighting, yeah. the Drake candle. Mm -hmm. the f lit it for the first time today. It's my first time. I saw Mel put the sheets Sparkling. on the bed. Are we going to finally sleep next to each other like a true married couple? Or are we still going to be yeah. roommates? How are you liking sleeping in your own bed, in your own room? I mean... Prefer it? I feel like you would prefer it because... We're not Mel really... We don't really like cuddle when we sleep, so it doesn't really make a difference when I'm actually sleep. Okay, the thing is, guys, Mel likes to fall asleep to noise and TV. Mm -hmm. I hate the TV on when yeah. I'm trying to go to sleep. But I feel like we have a happy medium of liking the, um, like the sound machine before we go to sleep. Because I used to need like absolutely no noise. And now I'm like okay with like a sound machine with like trickling water. But that's... That's, that's not, not the same? No. How? Because I need like something to like lull me to bed. Like the sound, I'm just going to end up staring at the wall. And if I'm staring at the wall, my brain is scattered. But if I'm watching TV or I'm watching TikToks, my brain is focused on one thing, and then that I go to sleep. That makes no sense to me. Staring at the I'm wall, I'm sorry, y'all. That makes no sense. If I'm staring at like trying to fall asleep, my mind will literally think of some random like, I need to go get English muffins from the store tomorrow, and then I need to go do this, then I need to go do this, and then I'll be so stressed about everything I have to do tomorrow that I don't even go to sleep. So I rather just watch TV. I'm focused on the TV show, not thinking about my phone, not thinking about tomorrow. Then I just fall asleep out of nowhere, like without even planning it. That's when I get some good sleep. We're about to watch The Conjuring? No. Why? It's like midnight. That's the best time to watch a spooky movie. If you want me to go to sleep. Can we start it at least? Please. You don't want to just watch Pose and then we watch the movie tomorrow? Like the full movie? Can't just start it. Conjuring's not the type of movie you like stop and then finish tomorrow. Like This isn't like a comedy. Wait guys, I want to show you that brand I was talking about because I showed you guys the detergent. I didn't show you guys... The other things that they sent. So again, this was PR for Yasmin and I just stole it. But their universal cleaner. This is what it looks like. I love the colors of their packaging. Then they also sent like their hand soap, their sanitizer. But this scent, what is on the universal cleaner? Does it have the scent? The scent name? I don't know what the scent is, but it just smells so fresh, so clean. I literally want to clean my house just so I can smell the spray. Like... Well, I'm about to just give it a good sniff. Oh my gosh, it literally smells like a bougie hotel. Like that's the best way I can describe it. Babe, did you use this um, new spray? Yeah. Doesn't it smell so good? Yeah. So I thought Mel and I were gonna watch The Conjuring, but he's being lame and he doesn't want to and wants to sleep. But the show that we've been watching is Pose, so we're probably just gonna watch Pose until we fall asleep. But we really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The chicken from earlier stained my nail yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but see how it's like kind of yellowish now. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications. And we'll see you guys for our next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.